Aloha. Welcome. I'm Reverend Dr. Glenn Swartout, and this is our introductory course, first course in a series of nine on vision improvement. This course will look at vision in a different way than you've probably experienced before, whether in vision improvement courses, courses on psychology of vision, uh, visual physiology, eye health, eye function. We're going to include all of that in the, the fundamental underpinnings of this course, but the focus will be on the experience of vision and how vision develops in the individual and how you can use your own consciousness, your own awareness, your own intention, your own actions to develop and further expand your genetic potential for the function of vision. The vision in human beings is sometimes uh, likened to water for fish. We're so visual as beings, as human beings, that we often don't think about vision until we perhaps lose some aspect of visual function. And there's much more to vision than how small of a letter we can see at 20 feet, the 2020 uh, visual acuity test is one test of vision, but it's, it's, it's a very small part. If you hold your thumb out at arm's length, it's only that area the size of your thumbnail in the whole visual field, the whole of the retina. It's that one little spot, the fovea inside the macula, that can see the small print. Uh, there are people who are legally blind uh, who can see that small print but they're legally blind and they actually need a, a, a dog or a cane or to, to navigate in space because they've lost their span of perception, the peripheral vision. And that's going to be the focus of our first course because that is the base f for, if you think of the, the, the central vision, the focus, the detail that we'll get into in the next couple levels. Uh, if you don't have that stable base to work from, it's like trying to build a tower with no base, and it's not stable. It, it, you can't even find where to aim that tower to align it with gravity to make it stable. Uh, and we have two eyes that need to align with each other. It's actually the most fine-tuned movement or motor function in the body to within minutes of arc, of uh, you know, much smaller than a degree of, of angle or arc, uh, that those two eyes have to align with each other. And at the same time, to see clearly and use the two eyes together to to turn that into one fully three-dimensional perception in, in space uh, we need to have them not only aligned together but also focusing together now, the alignment requires striated muscles like the muscles of the skeleton uh, they're the most finely tuned striated muscles where there can be a one-to-one -one correspondence between nerve fibers and muscle fibers. You don't see that anywhere else in the body. Uh, but the focus is controlled by the parasympathetic part of the autonomic nervous system, which means it's highly sensitive to stress. It's, it's like the digestion, the regulation of the gut, peristalsis, is parasympathetic. And we know what happens to our digestion if we're stressed, right? Uh, so uh, people who have difficulty with focusing or maybe eye fatigue or headaches, uh, perhaps on work days or school days and not on the weekend, it's someone who's sensitive to uh, those kinds of internal stresses of how do I regulate my body? How do I deal with digestion and cleansing and healing and repair and all these internal considerations versus is my energy going outward to the the peripheral vision the field the space around me in order to be alerted and oriented and aware for dangers in in my field in my space of not self so we'll get into uh, the peripheral vision and, and how you can begin exploring that and expanding that in the next segment.